My name's Rich Whitworth. I'm the editor of The Analytical Scientist. I'm joined today by Richard Fussell. He liked GC Orbitrap technology so much, he joined the company that make it. Yeah, um, I've always been interested in science. Uh, I did science subjects at school. Uh, after school, I then uh, managed to obtain a, a job in a, a small laboratory. And then after a few months, I was offered a, a, a different job uh, working in a laboratory for the government. And uh, that was uh, almost, uh, well, it was 36 years ago now. And uh, I stayed uh, in uh, working in different government laboratories. Uh, for all of that time and just recently I um, decided to uh, take an opportunity with uh, Thermo Fisher Scientific as a vertical marketing manager in the food and beverage sector. Yeah well um, I guess that um, the recent developments in Orbitrap technology is uh, perhaps influenced my decision to, uh, to join Thermo uh, to some extent. Uh, I was very fortunate I was uh, I collaborated with Thermo and I was given the opportunity to uh, travel to uh, Texas Austin to their research laboratory. Uh, I was the first uh, customer to be given an opportunity to um, actually evaluate the performance of the GC Orbitrap uh, system and uh, I felt that there was a real buzz around the laboratory. Everyone was excited. Um, uh, it was exciting for me as well because uh, I was very impressed with uh, like the performance of, of the instrument. Uh, I was very pleased that um, the people at Thermo Fisher at that time when I was a customer invited me into a number of, uh, of meetings uh, to discuss the development of the instrument and I, I just felt that there was a good vibe, you know, like it was uh, everyone was excited and, uh, and it just gave me a good feeling. Yeah, I can remember the first moment when we got the first uh, like peaks, uh, chromatographic uh, peaks from the, the, the system and uh, just the, the sensitivity was just like fantastic um, and the selectivity of the instrument was just absolutely brilliant as well. So, uh, and uh, we couldn't find any interferences and, in, you know, chemical interferences uh, in some quite complex matrix which we tested. So it was just, uh, you know, it was an amazing experience. Yeah, I, th I think um, that what this technology um, gives us capability to do is to be able to uh, undertake the target, targeted compound analysis, which people do by the triple quadrant pole technologies, uh, but also at the same time do the uh, screening analyses for the unexpected compounds. So that's in a kind of a surveillance activity. But in addition to that, um, I think it will also give the laboratories um, the tools to be able to do profiling experiments so that they can compare um, a, a good sample with a bad sample for example in the, in the food industry so if things go wrong then you can easily uh, easy, more easily identify um, which uh, you know what is the cause of the of the problem perhaps a taint you know, like an off taste or, or something like that so I think that it will um, open up uh, like uh, like new avenues. It will allow people to detect compounds which, uh, would, like you know, maybe we've not detected before. Um, yeah, well, I know. Um, obviously, I know a lot of people in the uh, like you know the food analysis uh, community, and uh, I know that the people um, have an, a very good opinion of the uh, Orbitrap technology when it's coupled to liquid chromatography. And uh, I know because people have told me that they are very excited about the possibility of uh, like Orbitrap uh, coupled to gas chromatography because they know that it potentially fills a, a gap 